Hey Nobles, well, it's Mayor Chris Jensen coming to you on this beautiful Friday, March 1st, the longest year of the year, month of the year, plan words there, February is over. I know y'all were all about leap year yesterday, leap day, whatever, I'm glad it's over, I'm glad it's March, uh, I'm ready for some springtime, some college hoops, some high school hoops, we'll touch on that here in a second too. It is another edition of the Friday Five for Friday, March 1st, 2024. Five things you need to know going into this exciting sectional weekend here in the city of Noblesville. Before we get to any basketball or quite frankly any fun, we're gonna hit on some construction projects. The same things I said last week, but they're so important, I'm gonna hit it twice for you. First things first, 146th Street in Alice Mill Road starting Today, first of all, this is a Hamilton County project, so the County Highway Department is in charge of it, but we're partnering very close with them. They're great partners of ours, but starting today, Allisonville Road, Allisonville Road north-south, will close between 146th Street and Kensington Drive on the north side, and between 146th Street and Hemsley Court on the south side for 90 days. So if you are a north-south traveler on Allisonville Road, it will be closed at 146th Street. Property owners within the limits of the closures will have access to their property, and we've communicated that with them. Both eastbound and westbound lanes of 146th Street will remain open throughout the entire closure. And if you want to learn more about this 90-day closure and what that ultimate project may look like, visit www.streamline146.com to learn more. It's going to be a great project. It's going to be very inconvenient the next 90 days. Hang with us. Seek alternative routes. Um, Etc. Please be mindful. We will have some additional patrols down in the southern neighborhoods there on 140 or on Alisville Road in Noblesville to be watching for those folks that are coming through. So please just be aware um, of that throughout the neighborhoods. Second thing you need to know: Cherry Tree Road. This is for the West Siders, if you will. Cherry Tree Road will be closed beginning Monday, March 4th, as crews begin construction of the new Pleasant Street and the new bridge over Cicero Creek. During construction, residents who live on Cherry Tree Road will still have access to their homes. When construction is complete, Cherry Tree Road, north of Pleasant Street, will have a cul-de-sac. So if you come in there by Bowl 32, etc., that will come down to a cul-de-sac. Cherry Tree Road, south of Pleasant Street, will have access to the new road with a right-in, right-out, left-in configuration. And as always, if you want to learn more about Pleasant Street, this is on Phase 3 of the Pleasant Street Project, but the website for the entire Pleasant Street Project is reimaginepleasantst.com. Go there. You can learn more, see a big flyover, see exactly what I'm talking about. But know there are going to be some uh, closures on the west side as we construct that new road. All right. Now let's get on to some more fun stuff. Third thing, Prevails Bowlathon. I got stopped by on Saturday. This is an annual tradition. It's a city versus county bowlathon. I'm proud to say that the trophy has returned home to the city of Noblesville. Departments from the city and Hamilton County fielded teams in a full afternoon of competitive bowling with our police department posting the highest score. Kudos to those guys, keeping us safe and bowling well. So, hey, that's awesome. Uh, more importantly, we raised over $43,000 for Prevail. Uh, Prevail is located here in Noblesville and it helps adults, teens, and children who have experienced trauma due to domestic violence or sexual abuse or assault. An awesome organization there on South 10th Street. Since 1986, Prevail has assisted over 70,000 survivors and their loved ones in putting pieces of their life back together. So kudos to Prevail, kudos to the county, kudos to the city. Trini Beaver over there at the county, I know, helped lead, lead the charge. Awesome job. Thanks for raising money on a beautiful Saturday for a great cause there at Bowl 32. To learn more about Prevail, you can visit www.prevail.com. Inc. So prevailinc.org. Prevailinc.org. It should be on the screen right there too. Great organization. Go and support them. Fourth thing, this past Tuesday night, the city council approved a, a new uh, and announced that uh, the justice companies will be re relocating their headquarters from Indianapolis to the city of Noblesville. They've been in Indianapolis for 114 years and will be calling Noblesville home here soon. The $7.3 million investment will be part of the company's planned development on the northeast corner of Little Chicago Road and State Road 32. The Justice Company is currently building a dynamic community there with residential spaces, businesses, and recreational facilities. That includes the Promenade Apartments, Promenade Trails, the new Meyer grocery store on the west side, the learning experience, and also businesses along State Road 32. So welcome to Noblesville, the Justice Companies. You've been a, a part of our community for a long time. It's great to have your headquarters here as well, completing the Justice Company pie here in Noblesville. Glad to have you here in our city. And then fifth thing you need to know on this beautiful 
first Friday of the month. Not only is it March 1st, but it is the first Friday of the month. So we're going to celebrate all the great things happening in downtown Nobles. Well, Main Street is hosting March Madness Sip and Shop in downtown Nobles well, from 4 to 8 tonight. Nobles will create, formerly Nickel Plate Arts, will have two new exhibits. First thing, Noble Crossing Students Textile Showcase and the John Cox Showcase will be at 107 South 8th Street from 6 to 9 p.m. tonight. So there'll be a lot of families, I'm sure, visiting Noble's Little Crates as Noble Crossing Elementary has a great exhibit down there as well. Uh, the Alley Art Market will be open in the North Alley from 4 to 8 p.m. tonight as well. So go check that out. And then finally, Hamilton County Artists Association, their first Friday event, their open house is from 6 to 8 p.m. tonight in the Birdie Gallery, 195 South 5th Street. So... Lots to go on in this beautiful month of March in the city of Noblesville as we kick off basketball season. I know uh, we have the sectional game tonight. The Noblesville Millers take on the Westfield Shamrocks at the mill. That's going to be sold out. The Jensen family will be there to check that out. Um, and then hopefully winning that game and on to the sectional finals on Saturday night. And for those not going to the sectional finals, hopefully are supporting the Noblesville Boys and Girls Club at their annual event at Harbor Trees. So a full weekend of supporting great not-for-profits, great basketball, and yet a great community. So those are the five things you need to know. If you have questions, thoughts, concerns, ideas for the Friday Five, give me a call here at City Hall. The number is on the screen. Shoot me an email, cjensen at noblesville.in.gov, or call me or text me on my personal cell phone, 317-509-3134. In the meantime, stay safe, Noblesville, and we'll see you back here next Friday.